Osteocyte, Wikipedia article audio. An osteocyte, a star-shaped type of bone cell, is the most commonly found cell in mature bone tissue, and can live as long as the organism itself. The adult human body has about 42 billion osteocytes. Osteocytes have an average half-life of 25 years, they do not divide, and they are derived from osteoprogenitors, some of which differentiate into active osteoblasts. Osteoblasts slash osteocytes develop in mesenchyme. Structure Development Function Sclerostin Clinical Significance in mature bone, osteocytes and their processes reside inside spaces called lacunae and canaliculi, respectively. When osteoblasts become trapped in the matrix that they secrete, they become osteocytes. Osteocytes are networked to each other via long cytoplasmic extensions that occupy tiny canals called canaliculi which are used for exchange of nutrients and waste through gap junctions. Although osteocytes have reduced synthetic activity and are not capable of mitotic division, they are actively involved in the routine turnover of bony matrix, through various mechanosensory mechanisms. They destroy bone through a rapid, transient mechanism called osteocytic osteolysis. Hydroxyapatite Calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate is deposited around the cell. Osteocytes have a stellate shape, approximately 7 micrometers deep and wide by 15 micrometers in length. The cell body varies in size from 5 to 20 micrometers in diameter and contain 40 to 60 cell processes per cell, with a cell-to-cell -cell distance between 20 to 30 micrometers. A mature osteocyte contains a single nucleus that is located toward the vascular side and has one or two nucleoli and a membrane. The cell also exhibits a reduced size endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, and mitochondria, and cell processes that radiate towards the mineralizing matrix. Osteocytes form an extensive connecting syncytial network via small cytoplasmic slash dendritic processes in canaliculi. The fossil record shows that osteocytes were present in bones of jawless fish 400 to 250 million years ago. Osteocyte size has been shown to covary with genome size, and this relationship has been used in paleogenomic research. During bone formation, an osteoblast is left behind and buried in the bone matrix as an osteoid osteocyte, which maintains contact with other osteoblasts through extended cellular processes. The process of osteocytogenesis is largely unknown, but the following molecules have been shown to play a crucial role in the production of healthy osteocytes either in correct numbers or specific distributions, matrix metalloproteinases, dentin matrix protein 1, osteoblast slash osteocyte factor 45, clotho, TGF beta inducible factor, lysophosphatidic acid, E11 antigen, and oxygen. 10-20% of osteoblasts differentiate into osteocytes. Those osteoblasts on the bone surface that are destined for burial as osteocytes slow down matrix production, and are buried by neighboring osteoblasts that continue to produce matrix actively. Palumbo et al. distinguish three cell types from osteoblast to mature osteocyte, type I preosteocyte, type II preosteocyte, and type III preosteocyte. The embedded osteoid osteocyte must do two functions simultaneously, regulate mineralization and form connective dendritic processes, which requires cleavage of collagen and other matrix molecules. 
the transformation from modal osteoblast to entrapped osteocyte takes about three days, and during this time, the cell produces a volume of extracellular matrix three times its own cellular volume, which results in 70% volume reduction in the mature osteocyte cell body compared to the original osteoblast volume. The cell undergoes a dramatic transformation from a polygonal shape to a cell that extends dendrites toward the mineralizing front, followed by dendrites that extend to either the vascular space or bone surface. As the osteoblast transitions to an osteocyte, alkaline phosphatase is reduced, and casein kinase 2 is elevated, as is osteocalcin. Osteocytes appear to be enriched in proteins that are resistant to hypoxia, which appears to be due to their embedded location and restricted oxygen supply. Oxygen tension may regulate the differentiation of osteoblasts into osteocytes, and osteocyte hypoxia may play a role in disuse mediated bone resorption. Although osteocytes are relatively inert cells, they are capable of molecular synthesis and modification, as well as transmission of signals over long distances, in a way similar to the nervous system. They are the most common cell type in bone. Most of the receptor activities that play an important role in bone function are present in the mature osteocyte. Osteocytes contain glutamate transporters that produce nerve growth factors after bone fracture, which provides evidence of a sensing and information transfer system. When osteocytes were experimentally destroyed, the bones showed a significant increase in bone resorption, decreased bone formation, trabecular bone loss, and loss of response to unloading. Osteocytes are thought to be mechanosensor cells that control the activity of osteoblasts and osteoclasts within a basic multicellular unit, a temporary anatomic structure where bone remodeling occurs. Osteocytes generate an inhibitory signal that is passed through their cell processes to osteoblasts for recruitment to enable bone formation. Osteocyte-specific proteins such as sclerostin have been shown to function in mineral metabolism, as well as other molecules such as PHEX, DMP1, MEP, and FGF23, which are highly expressed by osteocytes and regulate phosphate and biomineralization. The osteocyte is an important regulator of bone mass and a key endocrine regulator of phosphate metabolism. Osteocytes synthesize sclerostin, a secreted protein that inhibits bone formation by binding to LRP5-LRP6 corceptors and blunting WNT signaling. Sclerostin, the product of the SOST gene, is the first mediator of communication between osteocytes, bone-forming osteoblasts and bone-reserving osteoclasts, critical for bone remodeling. Only osteocytes express sclerostin, which acts in a paracrine fashion to inhibit bone formation. Sclerostin is inhibited by parathyroid hormone and mechanical loading. Sclerostin antagonizes the activity of BMP, a cytokine that induces bone and cartilage formation. Osteocytes die as a consequence of senescence, degeneration slash necrosis, apoptosis, and slash or osteoclastic engulfment. The percentage of dead osteocytes in bone increases with age from less than 1% at birth to 75% after age 80. Osteocyte apoptosis is thought to be related to decreased mechanotransduction, which possibly leads to the development of osteoporosis. Apoptotic osteocytes release apoptotic bodies expressing rankle to recruit osteoclasts. Mechanical loading increases osteocyte viability in vitro, and contributes to solute transport through the lacunocanalicular system in bone 
which enhances oxygen and nutrient exchange and diffusion to osteocytes. Skeletal unloading has been shown to induce osteocyte hypoxia in vivo, this is when osteocytes undergo apoptosis and recruit osteoclasts to resorb bone. MICROdamage in bone occurs as the result of repetitive events of cycling loading, and appears to be associated with osteocyte death by apoptosis, which appear to secrete a signal to target osteoclasts to perform remodeling at a damaged site. Under normal conditions, osteocytes express high amounts of TGF-beta and thus repress bone resorption, but when bone grows old, the expression levels of TGF-beta decrease, and the expression of osteoclast stimulatory factors, such as Ranklin MCSF increases, bone resorption is then enhanced, leading to net bone loss. Mechanical stimulation of osteocytes results in opening of hemi-channels to release PG2 and ADP, among other biochemical signaling molecules which play a crucial role in maintaining the balance between bone formation and resorption. Osteocyte cell death can occur in association with pathologic conditions such as osteoporosis and osteoarthritis, which leads to increased skeletal fragility, linked to the loss of ability to sense MICRO damage and slash or signal repair. Oxygen deprivation that occurs as the result of immobilization, glucocorticoid treatment and withdrawal of oxygen have all been shown to promote osteocyte apoptosis.